Hey, hi, hello there. How's it going? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Dragon Block Apollo, an amazing Dragon Block C server based mod that you may have heard of. Now, this is a server that has a lot of development made in the past few years with consistent updates and a strong community of players, from what I could tell. Now, there are two ways to install the mod. One is using the Technic Launcher, which is the easier way of doing things, but I'll be covering the manual Minecraft launcher method. As always, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy the content. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. You want to go to the Dragon Block Apollo website. All you have to do is click the link in the descriptions below, or you can type apollomcnetwork.net forward slash db. See home. You can go ahead and do two main things. One is download the mod pack files directly by clicking this. You'll notice that your browser show that it's been downloaded and you'll find it in your downloads folder. And the next important thing on this webpage is the Dragon Block Apollo server address, which is this dbc.apollonetworkmc.net right here. All you need to do is just copy and paste this, but we'll get back to this later. So that's the two main things you need from this website. The next thing you need is Forge. So we'll go ahead to Google and we'll type Forge 1.7.10 and that'll take you directly, if you click the first link, directly to the 1.7.10 Forge installer. Just go ahead and click this installer button right here. And then you're just gonna wait five seconds. Up in the right hand corner, you'll see there'll, there'll be a skip button. Once you get to skip, just click skip. And you've noticed it's downloaded to your downloads folder as the browser shows right here. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Go ahead and close that out. Now go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher and you should see a Forge 1.7.10 if you already installed Forge 1.7.10 before. Like, I don't know if you played Dragon Block C before, but if you have, then you have this already installed. If you do not, at least you have 1.7.10. If you don't know how to do this uh, or how to install Dragon Block C in general, I have a whole video on how to do that. See the descriptions below to the link for that. But all you need to do is go to installations and then go to new installations and uh, configure your file for 1.7.10. Click play so you actually have it installed on your computer. Um, but I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get Forge exactly. Uh, you need to go back to your downloads folder. And once you open up your downloads folder, you'll notice that you have Forge and you have Dragon Box C Apollo. To install Forge, all you have to do is double click this. You'll get a little Forge installer window open up. Now, if this doesn't end up working or this doesn't pop up and you get some Forge issues, uh, I have a whole video on how to solve this and how to fix this issue. Just look in the descriptions below for that link to that video. Now, going back into the launcher, you'll see that you have a Forge 1.7.10-Forge installation over here. If you do not see this, go to installations. That's simple as go to installations. And you just want to go to versions right here and go all the way at the bottom. Most likely that's where you'll find it. And so it's not in order. Just click this, name it whatever you want to name it, and click create. All right, so now that you have this set up, just simply click play so you create a mods folder. Now, the next step is to get into your Minecraft folder. Simply click Windows and R at the same time. And what you'll get is the run application where you type percentage sign app data percentage sign backslash dot Minecraft just like this and click OK. Now, once you do that, you'll open up the Minecraft folder. And if you already launched Minecraft with Forge, you'll see this mods folder. If you do not, just uh, create it by right clicking, create new folder and type in mods and it should work as well. So click in here, you'll notice it is empty. It should be empty if you've never used it before. We'll go back to our downloads folder. We do not need the Forge installer anymore. So I'll go ahead and delete that. We don't need this. Now from here, we're gonna need to unzip this file or I could just simply click into it. Um, you may be able to do this. If you can't, then you're gonna need something like 7-zip to actually unzip this file. But I can simply click into here and access the files within the zip folder. So. There's three folders in here and I'll explain what each one does. Config, you don't really need to worry about. These are the config files and you don't need to really put them on your computer. They'll be automatically installed as soon as you launch the mod. So we'll go ahead and ignore that. The next one is mods this is probably the most important thing to get the game working. So double click into mods and simply you're going to go ahead and highlight all these. Just kind of shift select all these. You can right click, copy um, and paste or you could just simply select all these and drag them all in. There's 20 files over here. All right, so the last thing you wanna install from the zip file is the resource pack. And to get to a resource pack folder uh, on your Minecraft folder, just go back to your main Minecraft folder by clicking back or just click Minecraft right here. Go scroll down to resource packs, which is right here. And you'll notice I have a bunch of resource packs. Uh, you may have zero, but I have a bunch. Um, go back to your downloads folder to this main uh, Dragon Blocks zip file, click into it. Uh, you might already be clicked into it, but go into resource packs right here. Now they do have their own Dragon Block Apollo Remastered resource pack. I would recommend using it. They have it, why not? If you wanna have the same experience that they're showing uh, on their website and their videos, uh, you might as well just go ahead and download this. So uh, what you wanna do is 
right click copy uh, and paste back into here or you could just simply drag it uh, I'm gonna in this case just copy it come up to the top and I'm gonna control V or I guess I could just paste right here and then you'll see it's right here dragon block Apollo remastered core pack okay so um, that's something that as soon as you get in the game I'll show you how to go ahead and install that let's go back to the Minecraft launcher be sure you have forge selected right here and go ahead and click play all right, so once it loads, you'll have a page that looks like this and obviously looks kind of different and that's because of the mods that we have installed. Now to get into the server, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click multiplayer. There is no single player for this mod, so you have to click multiplayer. And you're gonna go ahead and click add server. From here, you wanna call this Dragon Block Apollo or whatever, and then server address. Now you're gonna have to go back to the website as we talked about at the very beginning. Go and find the server address, which is right here. This is Dragon Block server address. It should look something like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and control C, copy this thing. You can right click, copy it, whatever. When we're back in Minecraft, just simply control V and you'll see this is the address you need. So I'm gonna click done. And you'll see that it's loaded right in here. It says there's 36 out of 37 people in this server. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click it, select it like that and click join server. And here we go, just like that, we should be in. You know, it gets your updates and your info and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and right click out of that. All right, so once you're in, you're gonna wanna go ahead and load up the resource pack. So you can click escape, go to settings, go to resource packs right here. Now, once you're in the resource pack menu, all you need to do is find the Dragon Block Apollo Remastered resource pack. Click this little arrow right here and it should pop up right there and click done. All right, so there we go. This should be the right resource pack, if I'm not mistaken. Now you'll notice I do not have shaders on. You can go ahead and add that at Optifine in your mods folder. It should be good to go. And I'm not a pro at this at all just yet, but I will have a video on how to play the mod, or how to get started at least. Um, but you should be in, if you see this, you should be in um, and good to go. I think the first thing you wanna do is probably talk to Kami right here. Go ahead and right click and you can talk to this guy right here. So uh, maybe the next thing I'll explain is the menu slightly. You'll notice that there's a few things. This dude is uh, in my way, he's my help menu. So you may wanna click help menu and really just read all up uh, on the info on this game, on this mod. Uh, there's a lot of information. And like I said, it's a pretty amazing mod. It's got a lot, a lot of development done to it. And they have constant updates with the GT update coming up really, really soon. So go ahead and uh, give this a try and let me know if you have any comments below. Thanks for watching. As always, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.